All right, welcome to the radioactive dating game. Let's start out here on the half-life page by dropping a carbon atom and watching it decay into nitrogen 14. All right, we can do this one at a time, but it's easier if we just add 10. Try resetting them all from the start. Oh, right there, there it goes. Now we can do this with uranium too. Same thing, just a lot longer half-life. And we'll try to pause it right there. Look at that. Works out better, a little better the more atoms we use. Oh. All right. Might be something to keep in mind. All right, next page, the decay rates. Here we can adjust the number from 0 to 1,000. Start off small, and there it goes. Looks like we reached a halfway point. A little bit longer than expected. Try this again with a few more. Oh, a little bit longer than expected there, too. Try it again. A little bit earlier. And they keep going. All right. Try measuring the age of a tree. First, we got to plant it. Pretty old tree. 1,200 years old. Look at that. And now, uh, oop. Got to measure carbon in it. Trees don't have uranium. And it goes slowly but surely. The thousands of years go by. All right, we'll try a rock. Instead of the uranium, not all rocks have uranium, but luckily this volcano makes the perfect rock for us. And there it goes. It hasn't lost any yet because it has to wait for the rock to crystallize. And there it goes. Well, you can, this takes a little while, but I think you can see where it's going. Now we get to the fun part. Guessing the age of, well, lots of stuff. The actual dating game. Now, carbon-14 in a living tree, well, 100%. How about that? We're 10 years old. My tree's not as old, but according to the carbon date, it is. All right, the house. 99.1. A little bit more. Let's try this out. Mm, pretty young. Oh, 77 years old. Kind of old for a house. Right. Let's try something buried. How about this human skull? Oh, 76.6. Six. Oh, we can guess that at about 2,200 years. And we're right. All right, let's get to the good stuff down here. Rock number four. Well, no carbon in there. Rocks don't have carbon. They have uranium. Some rocks actually do have carbon, but not this one. Well, 89.4. What would that give us? Well, looks like 711 million years. Add a few more. Couldn't get it right on there. What is it, million? Dinosaur. Oh, no uranium in dinosaur bones. It's living, or was. Oh, no carbon there either. What well, gives? Must be very, very old dinosaur bone. So, this game will let us cheat. Put it to 100 million year half-life, and... There is 34.2% of whatever we're measuring left in there. Must be radioactive isotope of some kind, fictional, but we can still use it here. 155 years. Oh, too many zeros. Here you go. Have fun.